Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Peacemaker Tries Hard, book two from DC's Black Label. One of my favorite series. Um, unexpected surprise. I really love it. Check out this gorgeous cover from Chris Anka. Um, the art in this book is so solid. I really love the design. I kind of wish it was just because the art is so freaking good. I wish it was, you know, DC. I don't know how they cherry pick uh, the bigger size books, but they really missed out by not doing this in the larger size format because what a gift in Steve Pugh the art is. It is totally gorgeous. Cannot wait to share this with you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Let's get into it. Okay. So Peacemaker Tries Hard, book two. There's his dog, Bruce Wayne, whom I adore. He's so cute and hilarious. And, you know, animals, um, I feel like animals in comic books are the same rule for animals in television or movies. Like, do not work with children. Do not work with animals. They're either going to steal the show, be impossible to work with, or, I don't know, pee on your leg. Written by Kyle Starks, art by Steve Pugh, colors by Jordi Belair. Special, we're going to take a moment to give special props to Jordi Belair. These colors are exactly what I want in a superhero comic book. Um, I feel like, uh, I don't know, if there were to be some sort of house style or something. You know, a lot of my complaint about modern comics is the colors are too dark and muddy and sort of brown out, gray out the art. And um, that is not happening with uh, Jordi Belair here. I've seen uh, that name before and I know that they're an amazing colorist. So um, very happy that they got uh, Steve Pugh a good colorist because he is firing on all cylinders. This very much follows, like, the feel of the Peacemaker HBO Max series, and I think that is so smart. I did not expect this book to be as good as it is, because usually, you know, when movies or TVs um, get a comic book to sort of support the popularity of something, you know, it's not that great. And this is definitely that great. Like, totally in character. I love the appearance of the brain in Mazir Mala. That's, they're actually, like, the reason... They basically are forcing um, Peacemaker into getting a sample of Terminator's DNA from General Immortus so that they can clone a new body for the brain. And um, so Peacemaker has to go steal it. They've kidnapped his dog, and Monsieur Mola is going to be his uh, escort to make sure he doesn't go off mission. I mean, what could go wrong, right? It is what couldn't go wrong, and it's so amazing in all the best ways possible. I love it. He just, like I said, the art is so crisp and beautiful. Um, I've said this about Nicholas Scott, and I definitely want to throw uh, Steve Pugh into this category. He def he has to be one of the best uh, modern superhero comic book artists because, uh, and I think that it helps that James Gunn sort of nails that in his aesthetics with his superhero stuff because it doesn't look ridiculous. I mean, it looks fun. It you know it looks okay you know what i mean i think that's kind of the problem like people struggle with is like superman just looks silly with his underwear on the outside of his pants or whatever but this looks good this feels right i'm enjoying this i think this is a good model for modern superhero comic books um there's a lot of just funny just stupid throwaway stuff them arguing about the origin of honey over here and oh my gosh him deciding which helmet to wear and I love that there's all these, like, really intricate, gorgeously designed helmets, and half of them have very inane or stupid purposes. Um, so how do you choose, right? Um, I don't know. It is just so good. I really enjoy this comic book so much. I have a feeling, especially, I don't know, is this a mini series? I hope not. I want it to keep going on and on. And that is my other problem with uh, DC and Marvel you can never, you never know if it's like a one shot, an ongoing, or a mini series. I don't know how, like, okay, published monthly. All right, that gives me hope that it's a monthly, which usually equals what twelve issues at the most these days. So that's an ongoing monthly in um, DC and Marvel. The beekeeper scene here is incredible. I don't know. The art is just so much fun. Like, um, uh, Jordi Belair just does such a great job of coloring this. I feel kind of sad in a way because, um, like, this is a great moment for Peace Waker. And he, like, he's basically having a blast with this beret-wearing uh, gorilla that he's on a mission with. Um, anything worth checking out in all of these great Flash covers? A little bit. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Anyway, um, this is just so fun. Demolition Team, that seems so familiar. Did that pre-exist before? Please feel free in the comments. Um, I am not like 100% DC guy, so I it looks so familiar. I feel like that must have happened in a DC comic book. And if so, what a great callback. Um, and this guy about to do uh, harm to this poor kitty. Um, gets a, a bullet through the brain, and that makes me happy, because don't fuck with animals, right? Um, yeah, I'm saying this has to be, like, real, totally. I don't know. It is just so much fun. The pace of this is good. Steve Pugh's art is amazing. Like, it just is so crisp and tight and precise, and, like, like it never looks wonky. It never looks incorrect. Like, he is such a bro. Like, such a great artist. <laughs> that's hysterical for so many reasons. The fucked beam helmet. I mean, come on. You are fucked, right? I kind of, like, it's black label, so they can cuss, and that's fun. I can't help it. I love that. Oh, my God, this is so amazing. There's this sort of treasure room in General Immortus's, uh, um, whatever, um, I don't know, bat cave, mortal cave. But the best Easter egg ever is a picture, can you see it, of Snowflame? Do you remember him? Like the cocaine crazy um, villain from the Global Guardians. Please, please, please. I was going to say Hal Sparks, but uh, Kyle Starks. If you are watching this by any chance, or Steve Pugh, and you just want to su suggest it, or it might already be happening, like the Global Guardians need to make an appearance. Brother Power, was that Brother Power's uh, shirt? Wonder Woman's panties, which I love. Like, um... Because I miss the the wonder the star panties. I do. Um, Black Hawk hat. I mean, it's so great. I love this treasure room. So much fun. I'm sure there's other stuff in here that I don't know about. Is that uh, Green Flames hair dryer? I don't know. Um, <laughs> he knocks over a ball of hard candies and he's bitching about that. They're being part. I mean, the humor is throughout too, and that's what I love and that's what I talk about when I um. Uh, a review uh, my megaton man uh, by Don Simpson is that like, it's drawn so well and looks so realistic but then it has like ridiculousness behind it which makes it even better at the same time but get these get snow flame in here I demand it general mortis hilarious I love it and just little lines criminal genius and master strategist hundreds of years old and looks it like it's just so silly sometimes and this is great not a hundred percent fan of like the use of like trying. I I, I don't know. I love Zipatone. You know I love Zipatone and screens. If you watch my channel, but I hate when it's like looks like it was computer generated. Is that being statchy? I guess it is. I mean, you can tell I like this book. He just flicks poor frail old General Mortis, and of course he knocks him out. And then, uh, no, should I spoil it? No. Here's a Terminator's DNA sample. Hilarious moment in the book. I'm telling you, like, this is the book you didn't know you needed. And, like, it's amazing. I really can't recommend this enough. It is so much fun. Um, and a great cliffhanger. And a betrayal. Surprise. Who knew a monkey with a beret with a, a brain in a jar would betray you? I don't know. To be continued. Am I wrong? Is this not a great book? Do you guys love this? I love this, too. Such a great book. Um... Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will bring you more soon.